Hey everyone, hope everyone's happy, healthy, and well. Um, we're going to do a reading here with our bowl of magazine clippings and handwritten uh, words that I've written down. So let's see what we get today. I don't know, one already fell out. Pino. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna grab a couple more. This other one wanted to come out. Okay, so we've got holiday decorations, candy canes, presents. Um, we all just celebrated Christmas and Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, hope everyone's holidays went well, and hope everyone's family is doing well as well. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got here. We got a lot of them here. Okay. A crocheted owl. A uh, space science activity book. I think I'm just going to kind of organize these a little bit here. We've got like aloe and this um, shingles rescue salve. Um, you might have shingles or know somebody that does and this could be helpful. Wow, we really can't see that on there, but it says uh, it's by Peaceful Mountain Shingles Rescue Plus Homeopathic Gel. Um, aloe might be of use as well in this situation. Um, I'm getting you might have like some cuts or bruises on you and aloe would be good for that as well. Um, we got gnomes. Um, let's, let's see if this will show up. Kinda. We have gnomes. Um, you might be doing some winter uh, gardening or landscaping and the gnomes are there with you. Uh, ask them for help in the and they'll help you. It says you can do it. You can do it. Oh, sorry y'all. It doesn't show up very well. Maybe if I turn the light down. I'll I'll try that next video, honestly. <laughs> um you gotta trust me what it says. <laughs> um We have this little ornament as well. Um, so you might be putting away holiday decorations, cleaning up your space, um, making new pathways to the future. It says ring the doorbell. So you might be visiting somebody or somebody is visiting you. Um, You might also be being visited by the gnomes or the fairies and they're wanting to work with you. Just ask them for help and they'll guide you. Um, I'm getting landscaping again, so um, that might be something you're doing as like a home remodel or um, maybe cleaning up somebody else's yard or helping out your family uh, cleaning their home. Um, Feel it off the table, please. Thank you. <laughs> Feel it wants to be involved. Look, you, you want to be on camera? Is that a no? I'm sorry. You're so cute, though. Huh? You're so cute. Okay. Find a spot and lay down. 
you might have cats in your life at this moment. Um, you might be like watching somebody else's pets and caring maybe even for like a farm while somebody's uh, family is away. Um, feel it. Don't do it. Mischievous. Mischievous. Wow, that is something. JDS Tarot is coming up. Everybody's worried about him. Um, nobody's heard from him in a while. Um, I send out my heartfelt prayers towards him and his family, whatever may be going on. Uh, I don't personally know him. I just um, really enjoy his channel. And have watched him for a while and highly recommend his channel um he's so awesome so i i don't personally know what's going on um but i i really hope uh that we get to hear from him uh when he's ready so wow i can't believe that came out though because i was this is just a current thing today people asking about how he, he is or if um you know i know anything and uh i just i i, I don't know any more than um the most you know most people know so um but i i really do hope the best for him um So you might be connecting with nature uh, and you're spending a lot of time outside. Um, I'm getting, this is pure bliss and it has like a, like a, almost like a poolside bench, you know, or like a nice little nook and cranny where you're able to just sit back and lounge and, and read and Maybe you're into magazines or uh, comic books. Um, you're taking your time out for yourself. That's great. That's really great. Self-love. Um, this says Wonder Woman. <laughs> you might feel like Wonder Woman right now. You're really busy doing a lot. Um, have a lot of different projects that you're working on. You might be releasing toxins, uh, doing detoxes like f uh, juicing, uh, smoothies, um, having a really clean diet, maybe even a celery juicing I'm getting. Um, really good for your whole body, honestly. Um, don't overdo it though. Like, you know, do it for a set amount of time and... And that's it. You don't con keep continuing on because a lot of detoxes are, are really harsh on the body. They're they're detoxing. They're they're letting out all of the nasty gunk that's built up in our systems. Um, it's you know releasing all that, and that's a powerful process. Um, so there's a time and place for it. You know, just be careful with it. Um, don't do it too much. It says, let go, spiritual leader. That's amazing. Um, you might be building your YouTube channel right now. Um, you might be incorporating more holistic practices into what you do. You might be more of like a Western doctor, but you're also trying to incorporate uh, Eastern medicine, um, other types of holistic healing. Um, that's awesome. I love that. What is this? It says, what cancer cannot do? It cannot cripple love, shatter hope, dissolve faith, destroy peace, kill friendship, suppress memories, silence courage, invade the soul, s steal eternal life, or conquer the spirit. So you might have cancer right now, or you may know someone 
that has cancer that's close to you. Um, I personally know somebody with cancer, and it is a very, very hard journey to go through day by day. Um, just living can be extremely painful, um, but do not, um, do not let it destroy your peace or dissolve your faith, is what this is saying, and that's just really beautiful because it's so true to really find the positives in the situation and have gratitude in each and every moment um, because each and every moment is a special gift. We have mushroom photography. You might love to do mushroom photography or any kind of uh, landscape uh, outdoors photography. You might really love to go hiking and kind of make a whole day out of it or maybe even long trips and journeys where you're photographing a lot of different um, different landscapes and time zones. So you might be really traveling all over the world, all over, you know, everywhere. <laughs> Okay, we have a zebra. So, zebra. <laughs> um, my mom was just talking about the zoo the other day. And so you might be visiting a zoo or a sanctuary for animals of some sort. Um, you might also live in Africa and see zebras where you're at. Um, that would be really cool. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, I was getting, um, I was looking at this space science activity book. Um, and you might be a illustrator of children's books or an artist, uh, for like children's toys Maybe even like you work for Disneyland or Disney World or Universal Studios or some sort of like amusement park um, geared, you know, towards kids and families. Um, you might see a canary. Um, I'm getting a yellow canary specifically. This is like a picture of a garden or like a, like a greenhouse, but it's really, really pretty. Maybe even like a botanical gardens. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't see that too well, but it's, it's really tiny. Even I can barely see it on here. Um, but there's like steps going up to like an archway with like leading by uh like purple flowers and like overhanging like almost like willow trees i'm getting you might be doing like a photo shoot in a botanical gardens maybe with your family or your significant other or just even a friend i'm getting this is says winter winter on it um and it has pictures of like a Bunch, I'm sorry, I'm like trying to get into the light to see this. It has a bunch of different birds on it, like all different colors. Blue, yellow, brown. Oh, there's rabbits. There's like ivy leaves crawling all around. So you might be really getting out into nature and spending some time amongst the animals and birds and the insects and photographing them. Okay, let's see, what else was there? I don't know if I said this one. I feel like I did, but I don't think I did. Ring the doorbell. Okay, I did. I said that somebody was gonna um, either possibly be visiting you or you're visiting someone else. Um, we have aardvark. 
<laughs> so you might really love aardvarks and it's kind of an odd unique thing to like but it's awesome and you know you just can't get over an aardvark they're just too cute okay let's see what else i don't think i did the peacock we have a peacock we have two peacocks actually one is displaying its feathers and the other one is watching so you might be dating somebody or um courting somebody um and let's see what else spirit what else i'm getting to believe in yourself um with the you can do it have confidence in yourself that you can do something that you think you can't <laughs> um because you totally can do it you can do anything you set your mind to you might be um like keeping a diary or just started like some sort of um journal keeping um and i'm getting you could try a fountain pen this says uh color right fountain pens um so maybe try that out it may be something new and fun for you to do i'm looking at this uh shingles rescue salve and i'm also getting cbd um cbd is so good for pain um especially like muscle pain and deep down pain and sabs can really get down and deep in there and um help that pain so you might really love like reading and any type of like artwork um this says i'd rather be reading just one more chapter <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pull a couple more from the full. Let's see if we get princess. So you might be somebody's princess. Um, you might also have an animal that's named princess. I'm getting like a little brown chihuahua. Um, and it's so quick, cute. <laughs> Um, we're also getting the song Chamomile by Slender Bodies. Check out that song. Um, it might be, uh, vibing with your situation right now. And we also had the word promised. And so promised with princess is like... Somebody's promised you their heart. Somebody has promised you their hand in marriage. Um, their hand for the rest of your lives. Um, and you might not have met yet, but there is a special person meant for you. And, of course, self-care is always the most important thing before anybody else. So do not forget about yourself in this process. Um... You don't have to chase love. What's meant for you will be for you. Um, I know it's really hard to hear sometimes. I hate hearing that. <laughs> Personally, I, I would really love to have somebody, you know, important in my life. But that's just not in the cards right now. And that's okay because I'm working on my self-love and working on taking care of myself and building my life, you know towards a better future so sometimes that's it's really hard it's not easy it's it's very difficult at times um but you can do it <laughs> you can do it um i believe in you um believe in yourself um maybe you're the only one who hasn't seen it yet that the power that you have um to change the world to influence lives uh, to change people's lives for the better and help them live a better life. Um, don't doubt yourself. I know it's hard sometimes, but 
you know, if you have to just kick back and relax and try to see things from a different viewpoint, um, instead of just worrying over it, just take that step back, take that breath of air, let it out, and remain, um, grounded in making the decision that you need to make, um, And get outside, get outside and enjoy nature. It'll really help ground yourself as well. And that's very important in the next steps of your life. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Anything else? This kind of flipped over. It, oh, and we also had owl, which like I did not see before. We have the word owl. So bright. Um, so you might see an owl, or I'm getting like hearing an owl hooting. You might hear that at night, close to like in a, in a tree close to your home, or maybe in a hotel or somewhere that you're staying. Um, and that means a, you know you're on the right track. You're you're where you're supposed to be in life. So this says, I can only please one person a day. Today is not your day. Tomorrow doesn't look good either. Wow. So maybe somebody, um, that's like funny, but also on a serious note, like reminds me of somebody in a certain situation and, um, you know, a work situation that is probably not for the best. And if somebody is getting you down too much, sometimes you are the one who has to take the step and leave. And... I'm, like, in a certain si similar situation, and I have not come to a conclusion of this situation yet, um, but I'm gonna let things work out, and if it gets to be too much, then I may have to leave, you know, um, but if you're in a similar si situation, I feel yeah, it's difficult. Um, but don't let anybody bring you down so hard that, you know, over and over and over. It's like, once is okay if they apologize kind of thing, and then if it just continues to happen and then there's just no apologies at all, it's kind of like, <sighs> sometimes you just gotta let it go. And, and the universe is testing you to see what you do and how you handle things. And don't let anyone abuse you, though. Like, on the real. Like, it is not okay in any situation, whether it be work, family, significant other, um, friends whoever, co-workers, like, um, the universe will support you if you let it go. It will bring new and better into your life. So sorry to go so deep and hard there, but on the real real, like, know your self-worth and know that you, you deserve a relationship or a work situation or um, family members or friends who really truly care about you. Um, and again, believe in yourself, okay? Alright, I love you all. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!